understand the origins of the Green Bay Packers, it requires a bit of a history lesson. So why don't you join us on a journey through time as we relive one of the greatest stories in sports. And it's a story that begins with this guy. Lambeau was a high school football star in Green Bay. Played four years at Green Bay East. Went to Notre Dame in 1918. Dropped out of school. Came back to Green Bay. Decided to organize what was essentially a semi-pro independent football team in August 1919. But Curly Lambeau wouldn't do that alone. After meeting up with a local newspaper writer, George Calhoun, the two devised a plan to start a town team. Lambeau was a guy who said, I'm gonna put this team together, can you help me? And George Calhoun at the Press Gazette was a guy, yeah, that's a great idea, I'll write some stories about you, we'll promote it that way. He was kind of an inveterate organizer of things and a big booster of sports. I'm sure they had no idea what they were creating. Lambeau and Calhoun organized a second meeting, this time inviting prospective players. Luckily, there were plenty to choose from in the area. The high school football in Green Bay was so good at the time. We had Green Bay East, Green Bay West. They had started playing years before the Packers played. Um, that rivalry goes back well beyond the Packers. Of the original Packers in 1919, four were Lambeau's high school teammates. 17 of the 25 played for either Green Bay West or Green Bay East. So you had good athletes, and when you brought together good athletes from two schools into one team, that uh, made for a pretty good team. So Lambeau and Calhoun finally had their football team, but there was still one big problem. They didn't have any money. At the time, Curley was working here, the old Indian packing company. And not only did he convince the plant to sponsor the team, but he also gave the franchise a name. Frank Pack was the president of the Indian packing company. He, story goes, gave Lambo $500 to start the team, just enough money to get some equipment and buy some jerseys. Much like any rec team today would go to a tavern or a business and say, hey, could you sponsor us? I suppose they were formerly known as Indian Packing, but the more promotion they got in the newspaper, the more often they were called the Packers, and it just became accepted. For a first-year team, it turned out these Indian Packing fellas weren't half bad. Green Bay went 10-1 and in their inaugural season, losing only to the Beloit Ferries. Six to nothing in the championship game, although Lambeau and company might beg to differ on that. Well, the Packers claim they scored three touchdowns that were nullified by uh, the calls of a homer official. I, I still say it's the most controversial game in Packer history, maybe aside from the, the Monday night fiasco in Seattle a few years ago. So there you have it, the very beginning of the most successful franchise in the National Football League. As for what happens next, well, as they say, the rest is history. Keeping you connected from Lambeau Field, Chris Barrier, NBC 26.